Hey again, uh, I'm going to show you how you can add and color and basically kind of manipulate shapes just like you would any other um, object that you add from the gallery. Well, usually up here in the toolbar you'll find um, your kind of shapes and these are all the other things that you can play with in Smart Notebook. But up here at the top I'm going to click on the shapes. You'll see all my options of different shapes I can add are up here, and if you need to, you can click this left arrow, and you can see even more of them because they don't all fit. So, you know, if you want to add, um, to like a speech bubble to maybe a comic character or whatever. Um, but you know, I'm gonna. It works like adding a, any other shape. You just click the one that you want. So let's say we want to add this parallelogram right here. We click on that. It's highlighted. Now I've got this plus sign, which means I'm ready to draw my shape. And you can click down the left button, and you can start to slide it, and you can add it. And as long as that's the shape that you have added, you can continue to add as many parallelograms as you like. Okay, well, I'm going to make all those go away for a second. My undo button up here, which is your friend. Uh, you can also, you know, it has some other figures and stuff like that, but you can also, when you add a shape, so here it's a pentagon, right, one, two, yeah, pentagon, I'm going to add this pentagon right here. Um, you can also manipulate this, just like you would any other shape. If you click in the middle, you can't do it, but if you left click on the one of the sides of the shape, you'll see it's selected, and now you can play with it just like you would any other shape. If you want to make it larger, you click this, you click and hold down this gray circle here in the corner. If you want to shrink it, you can make it tiny, blah, 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 blah. Um, you can also, if you'd like to color it, let's pretend that, let's make this a little larger right here. If you want to color this object right here, a few ways to do it. You can click on the paint can up here in the corner, fill, and you can choose the color that you want to fill it. If you want it to just be a solid color, you can click the solid color that you'd like. Um, and you can then click in the paint can, and there it goes. Um, if you want it to be, say, um, you want some type of pattern filled on the inside of it. If you're a big fan of stripes, well, you can click those, and now that shape, even when I move it, will always have that pattern on the inside of it. Um, but anyway, guys, that's the basics of how you add and color shapes.